Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another episode of Tune In Thursday. Gosh, it has been months since I've been doing these, and I absolutely love them. I've got little Shakti here. She says, hello. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about gratitude and how this will change your life. Annette, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. All right, so the reason why I am bringing up gratitude today is because, Donna, good to see you, is because it is deeply profound how having a little gratitude will change your life. And I'm gonna teach you guys, give you guys a little bit of a teaching of how to do it and how it works and why. So I want you to think of a time in your life you've probably been at some point a little frustrated with the results in your life, right? So you have been met with maybe some challenges, some circumstances, a situation, a condition, what have you. And you are being met with this thing in your life. This is the result. You're not exactly liking what you're experiencing. Can you relate to that? I know I can. And what I found was instead of trying to force the outcome of the way I thought it should be or wanted it to be, I started playing with something called gratitude. And I said, well, all right, if I really want to attract the thing that I know that I am meant to have to do or to be, what if I cultivate a little bit of gratitude? There's got to be some power in that. What can I be grateful for with what I have? So I started looking around me and I started literally being grateful for everything in my life. Okay, I'm grateful for my home. I, I mean, you go start with the simple things. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my car. I'm grateful for the food in my belly. I'm grateful for the the pieces of paper that I have, the, the books that I read. I'm grateful for all the little things. I'm grateful for having a phone, right? And then I started going even deeper, microscopic gratitude. What else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for the experiences, the, the things that are bringing me experiences in my life because these are ultimately the things that are creating opportunities there you go, and that says the bed that I sleep on. These are ultimately creating opportunities that are enhancing my life. Now, let's say this is a big one for a lot of people. I don't have enough money. How can you feel grateful for that? And here's how. And I'm gonna challenge you guys to play with this this week. Focus on what you do have. Focus on what you do have. I am grateful for the money I do have in the bank. I am grateful for the fact that I bought gas today. I am grateful for the fact that I bought food today. I am grateful that I just paid my rent. Right? With the good comes the good. Right? We look at it in a way that we are not lacking. And hopefully this makes sense to you guys because I guarantee you start looking at life that way and you play with gratitude for an entire week and you keep focusing refocusing your thoughts on what you have versus not on what you don't have things are going to start shifting for you in a very beautiful way and out of the blue because this is what happened with me things are going to start appearing money is going to start showing up out of nowhere opportunities are going to start coming out of nowhere so I invite you to play with your gratitude this week. What are you grateful for? And how can you up-level your, your game this week with what we call life? <laughs> All right, that's my lesson for the week. Very quick, very simple. If you guys have any questions, you know how to reach me. And I'm so excited to continue doing these teachings each week. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone. I love you. I love you. Bye.